In this third episode, we are going to take a quick look at the welcome page first. Then we'll spend most of our time looking at how the dialog box can help us create different types of documents. Let's get started. When you open Krita, a welcome page appears. If you pay attention, you will see that the page is divided into four sections. The start section is where you will find two clickable links. The new file link will take you to a dialog box where you will be able to create a custom document or any other types of documents from pre-existing templates. We'll get to that in more details later. The open file link will open the file explorer on your computer. This is where you will choose any existing documents. Now I am sure you already know that Krita can only open the same type of supported image files that it can save. For instance, do not try to open an Excel spreadsheet or a Word document using Krita. Here you can see your Word document when you open the File Explorer. However, if you tried to open the document using Krita, it won't show at all. The only thing that you will see is a message telling you that no item match your search. So keep that in mind. Only try to open image files or any other formats that are supported by Krita. The community section is a great place to go to find help. This link, for example, will take you to the user manual. Click on all the other links to see where they take you. The News section is disabled by default. Let's activate it together. First, let's choose a language. If you rather see news in another language that use a different alphabet formats, some of them are listed below. Next, click on this box. The news feed is activated. This is a great way to stay up to date with what's going on with Krita's community. Finally, the recent documents section is used to list the most recently opened documents from your previous sessions in Krita. You can always clear this section by clicking on the button clear. There is a quicker way to open a document. Open your file explorer. Using your left mouse button, grab and drag the picture to the center of the welcome page. And voila! Before you can start a drawing or painting in Krita, you will need to create a new image file. You may call it a new canvas or a new document. You can create a new canvas by clicking on the new file link as shown earlier. You can also click on the file menu and select new. Finally, you can use the shortcut Ctrl plus N on your keyboard. Whichever way you decide to use will trigger the dialog box to open. Think of a dialog box as your control panel, where you will be able to view, change and adjust a few parameters. When creating a new document, you can either use the custom document properties, you can use any clipboard contents, or finally you can use any pre-existing templates. If you want to create a specific document with particular dimensions and resolutions, click on the button Custom Document. Now thanks to the two tabs, Dimensions and Content, you can modify the properties made available to you. 
If you rather create a new document from a clipboard image, select this button instead. Using these options basically means that you are going to create a new document from a screenshot image that you have taken on your computer. So let me show you. We are going to take a screenshot of this image on Pixabay. As you already know, screenshots are sent right away to the clipboard on your computer. Open a new document in Krita. Choose a Create from Clipboard. As you can see, the image we took is now appearing in the clipboard area. Now there is one important matter that I would like you to remember here. When you select the option Create an image from clipboard, the document will have all the fields set to match the clipboard image. So just click on Create and now click uh, From Web. And you are done. You have created a new document from a clipboard image. You can now work on the image and do whatever you wanted to do with it. If I click on any of the five pre-existing categories of templates, I will be offered various types. For instance, we have two types of animation templates. Now please note that one is in English and one is in Japanese. We have four types of comic templates. We have six types of design templates. We have five types of DSLR templates. And finally, we have 13 types of texture templates. So what are those templates, you may ask? If you go and read the manual, they will explain what a template is. We are going to look at how to create a custom document. Open a new file. The custom document is highlighted, therefore it is active and ready to use. Your first option will be to create a new document using any of these predefined formats. Here you can change the layout of your document. You can go from a landscape to portrait or vice versa. Use the drop-down menu arrows to change the size units of your document. You can type a dimension directly into the dialog box. Here I would leave the resolution to 300 if I were you. It is known to be the best resolution for printing. 300 ppi translates to 300 pixels per inch. Some may use the term 300 dpi or dots per inch. Anyway, 300 ppi is the standard used by many illustrators like me. It makes our images sharp and crisp. Obviously, there is also more to this. There are plenty of articles online that you can find if you are curious to learn more about this topic. You can save your own predefined templates. Just give it a name. And click Save. Your new template is now showing in the drop-down menu. Now let's say that you changed your mind and wanted to remove this newly created template from the drop-down menu. Let me show you how to do this. Open your file explorer. Make sure to select the C drive on your computer. Search for users. Double click on it. Find your name and double click on it. Double click on App Data. Double click on Roaming. Now find Krita and open it. Now look for the folder called Predefined Image Sizes. Double click to open it. And as you can see, we have our newly created template right here. 
The only thing you need to do is uh, click on delete. If I go to the drop down menu, it is still there. In order to see the changes, we are going to need to close and reopen the new file dialog box. And it is gone. We have successfully removed the template. Let's create a custom document. We'll choose the US letter template. As you can see, all the dimensions and the document layout have been created for us. Under the color section of the dialog box is your color mode. Click on the drop down menu arrow to see your options. I usually leave this one to the RGB alpha, however, some of you may need to use the CMYK alpha. It really depends on what you need to do. As mentioned earlier, I'll leave the mode to RGB. Now leave all the options as they are. Again, if you are a professional and need a specific setting, you are more than welcome to tweak the settings to your liking. You can leave the content tab alone or decide to change a few things. You can name your document right here. You can change the amount of layers that will appear when you open the document by typing a new number in the dialog box. Click on the white window panel to change the color of your background. Use the color wheel to choose a new color and the new color appears right here now. Click OK to validate the changes. Finally, it is completely optional. You can add a few notes in this section. Click Create when you are done. Now, for some reason, the name of your document does not appear here. To this day, I still don't know why. This is the main reason why I usually never bother naming my new document when I created. I usually wait to do so when I am ready to save. And we are done for today. I hope this was helpful. See you next week for another tutorial. In the next coming weeks, I'll create one video per feature. I am going to make you experts in Krita. Alright, until next time, have a great time painting. Au revoir et à bientôt.